Dr. Silva here at Interventional Orthopedics of Washington, where we're doing a Baker cyst aspiration. Here you can see under ultrasound that there is an accumulation of fluid resulting from inflammation inside the kneecap. There's patellofemoral dysfunction, some osteoarthritis, that fluid accumulates, and during exercise or increased intraarticular pressure, that fluid ends up pushing out into the back of the knee. So we're gonna drain that out because we're doing a PRP treatment today. And we don't want that fluid in there when we're treating the knee with platelets. So you can see that needle goes directly into that pocket and We'll start to suck it all out. <clears throat> Not too bad, huh? Mm -mm. Good. So, there's our needle. That pocket is getting smaller and smaller. And after a little scan, looks like it's all out. Got some fluid here that we're going to toss out and follow with a little treatment into the capsule. All right. <clears throat> so I want to strengthen that capsule with some prolotherapy. So we're going to take it right along the area where that Baker cyst was at. And you can see it kind of filling up, this time filling up with good stuff. And there's the capsule. We're gonna strengthen that capsule. Baker cysts are very difficult to treat. Many times they come back, but it's an important part of treating the knee in order to get the best outcome with PRP or stem cells.